These uh, six rules are related to Jitta and Jirsika. Jitta here, for example, Lova. If Lova is the Lova, the screen, this root, this is related to Jitta. How many Jitta we have? 89, right? But here only a type of jitta, consciousness. So if you go to detail, you have to know that it's only a jitta. For the dosa, just as we start, is the jitta, only two dosa, jitta, right? Only two. It's the moha, this uh, is root, are related to this jitta, only two moha, jitta. And here we have 52, but here is not just all the 52 depend. For example, when you create consciousness, Lava Jitta arises, mostly only 21 Jirisika mental factors associated. If Dosa, you get and sometimes. At that moment, there's only mostly 22 kind of mental factors. And delusion, at that moment, just only <coughs> 15 mental factors. Yes, the six truths are related to Jitta, consciousness, and Jirisika mental factors, as we did with the root, and also to the corporeality produced by Jitta by root condition. So, Rupa Ayu, corporeality is the Jitta, but this Rupa, this Rupa produced by mind, produced by Jitta, produced by karma. So we already, already study about that. There's the four causes, right? Produced by karma, produced by jitta, produced by udu. That's uh, produced by <coughs> aha. 
So depend on Loba Dosa Moha. Depend on Loba Dosa Moha. This the Rupa popularities are different. That's why when we think about this Kamaja uh, Rupa, like eye sensitivity, ear sensitivity, nose sensitivity, tongue sensitivity, body sensitivities, produced by what? By karma, right? That's why if you have good karma in previous life, this life you have good this is a sensitivity. Some since he was born. I said it's not good. Right? Something like that. Something cannot hear. Because ear sensitivity is not good. So it depends on our karma, good or bad karma. Nice like the <coughs> Femininities and masculinities is produced by karma. See, produced by karma. That's why, yes, that in this world, male or female, why different? Because of what? Because of the six roots. For example, love, grief, attachment. If you attach to as uh, you as you are male or you are female, touch that, and then because of this uh, love attachment, you will become as male or female. If you don't like to be a, a woman, you will not be a woman. So attachment. Whatever you know, they are bored and uh, everyone is attached to their lives. Male is attached to as their male, a female as their female. This attachment is love. This love. So everything is the different because of the sixth root good root and bad root. You have a heart base. Good heart. Because of what? It's karma. Depend on what we did in previous life. So we have good heart. And so, so the people here, you see, why some they are pretty handsome, some they ugly. Which is by what? It's not by Chitta, it's not by Udu, that by Ara, by, by what? By Kama. See? By Kama. So, this means, this the Rupa matter is the produced by Kama. That's why the people are different. So, I just want the Arab to know that. <coughs> This uh, six root, we have the three good roots and the bad root. Three as the cause, which people are different. Even some need to smell or not smell that kind of person. Why happen like that? Because of what? Come. Right? Come. According to the agreed attachment, lust in views life, they commit adultery. By the power of this attachment, this greed, this love, this life, as you know. Right, 50 50, right? So, it's depends on the outcome. So, you can see in this world why are people different because of karma are different. Our action is different. That's why we try to be good, do good, this present life. We will see the good results in the future. 
Cinema, Theatre, Concert, Circus Circus, a bar or restaurant, as well as people come to delight in the hamper. So the same way, this is six objects. Whisper object, sound, smell, taste, tangible object, and mental object. The sixth object is the Western Yetta consciousness. It is the mental factors come to delight in and help. That's why every day, all of you, not me, <laughs> you know. Uh, we we'll see something, watch something, you know, watch the news, uh, and listen something, listen to song, listen to radio, uh, listen to music, uh, use phone, and eat. Uh, many, many times a day, change your clothes every day, think about the future, plan for the future. Object, right? Six objects. This is the uh, mind of uh, consciousness and manifested delight in and help. Except when it could sleep, sleep well, fall asleep. The yeah, visible object is stated to eye consciousness, mean, this remember, visible object is mean. Rupa, right? With the object as the cause. It's cause. As the eye consciousness and its concomitant uh, effect, cause effect. Just only cause and effect. So if you go into the here, eye consciousness, you already know that eye consciousness, right? And its concomitant is when you can see that mental factors, only seven. Only seven mental factors associated with the eye consciousness. We have mental factors, 52, right? But here only seven. You can all universal mental factors. Remember? Universal mental factors, seven. Asa, Vidana, Vidana, and so on. You know, right? Uh, so, visible object, Rupa, has the cause. And eye consciousness and its concomitant is effect. So, visible object is the physicality. Eye consciousness in as incompetent is mentality, just mind and matter. See that no man, no man, no person, no I, no you, just mind and matter. As the cause fair. So when you see somebody eye conscious, then you can say that uh, seeing consciousness, same. See some form, some kind. So eye consciousness or seeing consciousness. When you see, when you see, sometimes you see the desirable object. Like, like oh, very beautiful. I like because of what? It's the eye consciousness. Remember, uh, wholesome receptive consciousness, unwholesome receptive consciousness. Remember, right? Like when you study about jitta consciousness, you see the desirable object is in previous life because of this. Uh, you used to do the wholesome. D in previous life, as the star, this life, you see, mostly you see 
undesirable object. Sometimes you come across undesirable object, you would not want to see them, but you have to. What are they? Unwholesome is something consciousness. So we have two, right? Jeff Unyana, two. Remember, a rootless consciousness, two. So, what even you say, I consciousness, is a, a wholesome receptor, unwholesome receptor, we have to look at it. So, no one wants to see an observable object. But, according to a karma, what we have done in this life, we have to come across. See? So, here is the play of the whisper object is related to eye consciousness and its concomitant, this means universal mental factor self. It's by object condition. There's no object, no I consciousness arises. See that? There's no form, no color, nothing in front of you. You will not see anything. That's what we call we, this I consciousness or C consciousness arises because of object, condition. So when you practice meditation, you should know that. The first thing, differentiate mind and matter. So we already know that physical object is rupa. Matter, I consciousness is the citta, mentality, just mind and matter. It's a reality. Otherwise, they oh, I see that man, I see this man, I see a uh, man or woman, and so on. But uh, what do you see? In visible objects. Right? Visible objects. And why do you see that? What is the cause? We have four causes. Four causes. The vision of everything in this world has the cause. That's the cause is the <coughs> cause effect interrelated arising in this field. So here when you see, yes, the four condition must be. What's the four condition? Number one. You should have this. Your eyes and state must be good. If your eyes and state is not good, you will not see the car, you will not see the car, you will not see the visible object. So, one is the eye sensitivity must be good. Even if you have eye sensitivity, it's not good. We're not seeing it. To be able to see it, what we have to do? Use glass. <laughs> Use glass. So, number one. So, eye sensitivity must be good. And number second, this uh, visible object must be present. Must be present. If visible object is not present, it's not present, you will not see anything. So, number two is mean visible object must be present. Number three, what we need? In body term, we call aloka. Light. Light must be present. If dark, you will not see that. Right. 
That means Alanka, light must be present. That's why we have to turn the light. It's the cause. One cause to, to be able to see. And number four, attention. <coughs> attention. A body term we call Manasika. You already started about that, Manasika. Attention. So we need these four causes. So even though this physical object is present, if you close your eye, you will not see that. If your eyes are still stuck you will not see that. So even though your eyes are still is good, there's no visible object, you will not see anything. It's too small, you will not see it. So we need the obvious this the visible object. So your eyes are still is good. Visible object is present, but it's dark, no light. So we can see that. So we need light. So you are sitting here, your eyes are still this good. The visible objects around you here, the light is already turned on. There's no attention, someone passed by. It's to you behind, in front of you. You don't pay attention to it. You will not see it. <laughs> That's the attention necessity. So this attention is the indispensable for the awareness of the sense object. It's very important. Someone may say, oh, I see oh, it's a good thing. Maybe the God let me see that. Maybe think like that. That's the, it's not the God, you know. Why we see that? Why is the eye consciousness or seeing consciousness right? Because of four causes. So just cause effect. When you practice meditation, when you see something, we just make a mental note, see, see. But as see, when you see visible object, this visible object, the light turn of the visible object, as all I know, arising, existing, the solution. Every moment, right? Every moment, arise and disappear. Every moment. When you gain concentration, and you will gain wisdom, you will know this visible object just arise and disappear. How about your eye sensitivity? This one kind of rupa. This eye sensitivity also arise and disappears. Every moment. How about seeing consciousness or eye consciousness? This eye consciousness also arises. So we have three minor instances in body term, upada, titi, bang. Arising, existing, or what? And then dissolution. So, this the visible object, your eye sensitivity, eye consciousness, arising, disappearing every moment, one after another. When you see it in nature like this, this means you see 
the characteristic of this mind and matter. See, we gave we pass now knowledge. When you see something, this visible object may be desirable object or may be undesirable object. For you, we are price meditation. You just may a mental know. Realize that. Just see. Just see, see. There's no grief, no anger. For the non-meditators, as all of you know, see that. So when you like it, if you like that, it's the green, normal. You don't like that, this means dosa. It's normal, dosa, us. So we need to learn. As we learn, we practice. We need to practice in our daily lives. Whatever we see, just see. If you think that, ah, oh, beautiful, just ugly, now my dust arise. If you think as a man and woman, also, this law of dust arise. If you see as visible object, no mental defilements will arise. That's why be mindful, be aware of whatever you see, just see. So we need to practice that. So now all of you already know <clears throat> is uh, for our eye consciousness to arise, we have four causes. Just cause and effect. After you understand this sentence, the remaining very easy. The same. For example, Sadhara, Sodha, Vyana, Dadvya, and so on. If a sound is related to ear consciousness and is concomitant by object condition. <coughs> sound. Maybe desirable sound, maybe undesirable sound. So this sound is related to ear consciousness. You hear, we can call ear consciousness or hearing consciousness. You hear the sound. So this concomitant here is only seven universal mental factors. Sound is matter, <coughs> ear consciousness Jitta. It's concomitant, it's mean jitta sika mental factors. But you see, only mind and matter. Jitta, only mind and matter. Sound is matter, one kind of matter. So, your consciousness is concomitant, jitta and jitta sika. As Effect, just a cause and effect. To be able to hear something, also we have four causes. So maybe he's mentioning about only sound. Maybe we have four causes. What are they? This, uh, your ear sens sensitivity must be good. If you your ear sensitivity is not good, you will not hear. Someone has to use the battery, right? To hear. There's no battery in the ear, you cannot hear anything. So, number one, your ear sensitivity must be good. Number two, sound must be present. Even though you have good ear sensitivity, there's no sound. You will not hear anything. That's why sound must be present. And what we did here, we already 
ಸ್ಟಾರಿ ಆಕಾಶ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವಿನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಗ್ರೋ ಸಮ್ ವೇ ಗುರು ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಗುರು ಸಮ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಟು ಸಮ್ವನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಗ್ಲಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟು ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ and number 4 attention your ear sensitive is good the sound is present we have space between people but if you don't pay attention you will not hear what you say so attention that's why we do some you ask for something you pay attention listen attention your right. this attention is very important so there are four causes what are they number one your sensitivity must be good number two sound must be present number three space must be present number 4 intention so attention by right, attention is the four causes so we have here some something so it depend on our previous karma this the sound may be desirable sound or undesirable sound someone's life you know, just so uh, they have opportunity to hear good song good conversation some just a uh, every day but he is i'm human right uh, at work at home you know just so uh, someone's biting uh yelling why you have hear that every day mostly depend on our previous car so you think that you will not get mad about no anyone or anything you think that oh because of my car previous life so i have to hear that every day so don't blame others blame your car the s listen don't do it again try to do the good action oh just to remind us so we learn from our ears learn from our eyes every day so everything is the dumb nature as nature teach us every day so every day you see a lot of thing you hear a lot of thing good or bad so every day so think about as the dharma as nature the law of nature the law of karma the law of action and reaction the law of cause and effect you understand understand this point no greed no anger and go to another sense ganda yara kana vena dadu ya dan samir kana ja damana aramana bajina bajiro the smell ganda sense smell so one pa maturity we already started about that smell is related to nose consciousness and is concomitant by object condition so nose consciousness and 
is concomitant only seven universal mental factors. The smell is the matter, rupa is the cause, and knows consciousness and is concomitant. Jitta and Jitisika is the mentality, just physicality and men mentality, mind and matter, nama and rupa, this reality as the cause fact in the nature. The place you live, the place you have to go and work, maybe good smell or bad smell, depending on your job, right? Depending on your job. Why we have to <coughs> experience the bad smell? You cannot quit your job. It's necessary for you. Example, right? You have to work and we have to live, we have to stay there. Because of what? Previous unwholesome come, what you have done. So this life you have to experience the best man. Some you come across just a desirable smell, if you like. This also according to our previous karma, when we have done a good thing. So this life has come across a good smell. So whatever good or bad, they have to the cause. This cause may be previous life, maybe this present life. Nothing can occur without cuts. So, and you have to cut. Yes, to be able to <coughs> master no consciousness arises. There are four causes to Four causes. Number one, no sensitivity must be good. Some even The smell, right? You don't know. So, because there are no sensitivity, it's not good. So, no sensitivity must be good. And smell must be present. Even if you have the good, no sensitivity is no smell, you will not experience anything. So this smell must be present. And number three, what we need? <coughs> Why? And does carry the smell? There's no air, you will not get any smell. We need air and And number four, attention. Attention. If you have a good smell or bad smell around you, if you're not interested in about that, no intention, attention, you got about the smell, you will not feel it. You will not sense it. So we need attention. So we have four causes. Just cause and effect. Smell is matter. Nose consciousness is concomitant. It's the jitta jitta Consciousness and mental factors is the mentality. How about attention? Attention also one type of mental factor. Right? So we have <coughs> Causes. How about Rasa Arana? 
This is related to tongue consciousness and is concomitant by object condition. This is mean rupa, one kind of matter, as the cause. And then tongue consciousness and is concomitant is the jitta, jitta sika. Consciousness and mental factor is mentally. Some we can call it mind, right? Mind. This tongue consciousness, you feel, ah, oh, this good taste. It's not good taste, it's very, very sweet, very spicy, and so on. So, taste. This uh, rasaranam. To know the taste, what we need. Number one, tongue sensitivity must be good. When you get sick for a month or two months, three months, a few months, you cannot taste. We eat something you will not feel, or spicy or sweet, you will not feel that. That's, that's why we need the tongue sensitivity must be good. And number two, taste. Right, we need taste. With no taste, you will not feel anything. So we need taste. And number three, what we need? Oh, liquid element. It's the water element, liquid element, such as saliva. In your tongue, to drop. So put something in your on your tongue. It's so dry, you will not feel anything, you will not know the taste. So what we need is the arbor that or liquid anything. So we have slide. And number four, attention. Somebody eat. Rush to eat, right? Had to go somewhere. So, how about the curry? I cook is good enough. You cannot answer right away. Let me try again. <laughs> because first day, no attention. So we need attention. This four causes. Why is this uh, tongue consciousness? Translation here, tangible object. What the buyer now is mean, tangible object. It's related to body consciousness and its concomitants by object condition. This also just my method. Tangible object is rupa. Body consciousness and its concomitant is nama. Whatever you say, nama is mean jitta and jirisika, consciousness and mental factors. Just mind and matter in the unit as the cause effect. Who is cause? Tangible object. Body consciousness is the effect, it's cause effect. It's 
Stau number one, we the cost. We the body conscious to arise. Number one, your body consciousness must be good. If your skin so dry, you will not feel anything. Right? So your body sensitivity must be good. And number two, tangible object. Tangible object must be present. And number three, form solid element must be present. This means what to me? What is earth element? This earth element here, soft and hard, right? This uh, this but we should be form solid element must be present. So if small hard to me, you cannot feel should be form solid element. This uh, but we must be present. For the uh, transmittance of touch, otherwise you cannot feel that. So for the uh, tangible object here, we already started about matter. What are the three, right? Earth element, fire element, and air element. You cannot feel this the water element. You already started about the right? So here, the battery or element must be present. And number four, attention. Attention. So by this uh, <coughs> body consciousness to arrive, we have four causes. Four causes. So if you go in detail, this uh, tangible object is a rupa, right? This rupa, this uh, body sensitivity is a rupa, it's matter. right? So that's the, the firm solid element but we is a rupa, and attention is now. So the cause we have rupa and now. So sometimes rupa matter is the cause. Sometimes nama mentality is the cause. Some both mind and matter is the cause. You kept here, just now. See is. The Buddha be able to know everything in detail, how mind and matter interrelated, what's the cause, what's the effect. We got about, <clears throat> go to one sentence, I will let you know uh, one thing special today. <clears throat> and Potabharanam, Arubharanam, Sadharanam, Gandharanam, Rasaranam, Potabharanam, Manodhatuya. Tang Samyurgana Jadamana Aramana Pajina Pajiyo. So whisper object, sound, smell, taste, and tangible objects are related to mind elements. So Manodhatu. Noise means mind. Darius means element. So mind element. What are they? We already started about that. Somebody jana is meant receiving consciousness. Receiving consciousness. When some sense, some objects appear to receive this object. Because receiving consciousness too. Right? The tweet is meant too. Receiving consciousness too. We have also the subject, I also the subject, 
consciousness we already spoke about that. So somebody jana is not receiving consciousness, and banja dwara we jana. Five door adverting consciousness. Five door adverting consciousness. When the this visible object, or saw, or smell, or taste, or tangible object, one of those appears is the five sense of everything, just the turning the mind to the object. Just we call five sense of sense of everything consciousness. These three consciousness collectively called mano da my elements. My elements. So this my elements and they are concomitant. They are concomitant with only ten mental factors associated with the mano dadu my elements. So you don't need to go in detail. If you go in detail, you know it's a lot of things to learn. <laughs> so I want to go now finish this uh, <clears throat> button up law of cost solutions. So if you're interested about what consciousness, how many mental factors associated, so I used to teach that before in detail. For example, here, this Manoda, uh, this uh, receiving consciousness and five cent or adverting consciousness, how many mental factors associated? Ten. Why? And so on. And another one. So before that, so please remember, we got about consciousness. We have briefly 89 type of consciousness. Broadly, 121 type of consciousness. If we classify as dot element, only self, please remember, only self. Jaku, when you're not dot, we study right now. Jaku, when you're not two, see right two. So that when you're not dot, Kana, when you're not dot, Jiwa, when you're not dot, Kaya, when you're not dot, Ten already. Mano dadu, three, thirteen, right? The remaining seventy six type of consciousness we call Mano Vinyana dadu. Mano Vinyana dadu. So we have seven elements. We got about the consciousness. So now we study. Six already. The visible object, sounds, my taste, and tangible object are related to my element, and they are concomitants by object condition. Why is the monoda to arise? Because of what? Because of this uh, visible object, a sound, a smell, a taste, and tangible object. That's the cause. All of the rupa is the cause. My element is the, is the consciousness. Just my element as cause effect to interrelate it. But object condition. Object condition means visible object and so on. It's no object, no monoda that to arise. And sabida. So be the Amado, we are not that we are. Yeah. This is all the six sense objects. This object put S, one S. All the six sense objects are related to my consciousness 
This means seven, six types of consciousness. And it's concomitant. Here's mean 52 types of mental factors. So all the six sense objects here, please remember, six sense objects, 89 type of consciousness, 52 type of mental factors, 28 type of matter, and nibbana, and concept, one So include into six sense objects. Sense object, what is that? It's mind, it's consciousness, the mental, the other mental factor, a rupa, a nipona, or all. That's why we all the six sense objects related to mind consciousness. So when you practice meditation, you will experience about that. About the mind, about our consciousness about the mental factors, about the rupa, about nibbana, to be the noble person after you gaze enlightenment, your mind consciousness will take nibbana as object. You will not gain any kind of any state of enlightenment, you will not experience the body. For the Banyati concept, see that. For example, you sit meditation, you see your house, you see your family, it's not by physical uh, eye, right? You close your eye, you see that. What do you call?